while a powerful and deadly storm unleashed devastating floods in eastern Libya. State media reports, quote, an official who says more than 2,000 people are feared to have been killed in one city. The official didn't give a source for his numbers, and the Red Crescent said earlier they estimate 150 to 200 people, 50 people, I should say, are dead in the city of Derna. Now, the heavy rain inundating, as you can see, this hospital also flooding streets and knocking out phone service, the region got more than two-thirds of its normal annual rainfall. That is just in one day. It came from the remnants, you remember us talking about last week, of Storm Daniel, which pummeled Greece last week. I, I want to bring in our Ben Wiedemann, who joins me now for more. And Ben, this is absolutely devastating. Just give us a sense of what you are hearing from authorities this hour. Well, the, the person who made this claim is Prime Minister Osama Hamad, who is the Prime Minister of the breakaway government of eastern Libya based in Benghazi. And he said that two, at least 2,000 people have been killed as a result of these floods in the city of Derna. And in addition to that, he's claiming that as many as 5,000 people may be missing. Now, I've been to Derna. It's a city of about 100,000 people at the bottom of a mountain. Now, a dry riverbed, a wadi, runs through Derna. Uh, but it appears that as a result of the amount of rain that Storm Daniel dumped in that area, as you said, two-thirds of its annual rainfall in just one day, uh, that it just ripped through the middle of that city. And uh, what we're seeing on social media are scenes reminiscent of what is going on in Morocco right now in terms of uh, the amount of destruction. Now, it's not altogether clear what the source of this claim of at least 2,000 dead and 5,000 missing is. Uh, Prime Minister Hamad didn't actually mention uh, the source, but it's clear that there has been massive damage in Derna and probably massive loss of life as well. As you said, the Libyan Red Crescent Society is saying perhaps as many as 250 are dead. But just looking at those images, one uh, suspects, one fears that perhaps the death toll is much, much higher. He yeah, said. absolutely. These images it looks pretty catastrophic as we look at some of the images we had from from overnight. In terms of what the prime minister said, do, is he asking for international help? Is he asking for, for others to 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 help out? Because these images are truly uh, truly shocking. Uh, yes, they, the Libyans are desperately asking for help. Uh, in fact, the president of the UAE, uh, Zayed al Nahyan, has said that they're going to dispatch urgent assistance immediately. The UN is calling for help uh, as well. As I said, we're, it's not altogether clear the extent of the damage, the death toll, the number of missing, uh, but clearly there is a desperate need for help, and the Libyans are asking uh, for it immediately. Lisa? Yeah, urgent need for relief assistance, clearly. Ben Wiedemann for us there. Thanks very much, Ben.